meet five brave amateur chefs ah. about to embark on the challenge of a lifetime. Simply gorgeous. They're taking over a top London restaurant. Jesus, it is bloody hot. Oh, serving up their own favourite recipes. Hot pan. To a room full of discerning diners. Bit burning in. Over five days, each rookie chef will tackle a different job. They'll cook four courses and escape the kitchen one evening to sparkle as maitre d. Every night, the highest scorer wins. And at the end of the week, one wannabe chef will be crowned king or queen of the kitchen, walking away with a thousand pounds in cash. Here's Johnny! Expect passion, pain, Ow! and some good old-fashioned panic. How the f*** can I reach? That's organisation for you, isn't it? This is Pressure Cooker. and our five foodies are halfway through their culinary challenge cooking their beloved signature dishes for 25 discerning diners. Last night the kitchen fell to pieces and Juliet's seafood starter took a battering. The white fish was slightly overcooked. Salma's curry came back. I didn't enjoy it at all, man. None of them. And Sarah snapped. I'm not on a diner. F no. I don't want your help. Zach Jones and Andy Thompson own and run the Chancery Restaurant. They've spent two years painstakingly building up its reputation, gaining excellent reviews for both food and service. Now they've allowed five rookie chefs into the kitchen and their beloved restaurants going down the pan. With no win in the kitchen so far, the meticulous mentors have some harsh words for them. We asked you to up your performance. It didn't happen. Food scores were worse yesterday than they were the day before. Really not very good at all. I've had better chicken on a Saturday night kebab. If that had been in a professional environment last night, one or two of you wouldn't be here today, you'd have been fired. It's as simple as that. That's how this industry works. I've been cooking for 20 years. You've been cooking for 20 minutes. So far this week, sparks have flown between housewife Sarah and Andy. I want the place cold. It. Okay, but they're I not don't. cold and you assume they were. Well, well, how, well how, what else am I supposed to think? Okay, it's your dish, it's your mise en place. That was, that was I half told an hour ago. How long are you going to argue with me for? Last night when I went home, it took me a long time to calm down. I was really annoyed. Um, really annoyed. I thought I'd been really badly treated and I was livid. A chef, in, under my guidance, who, who I employed, and answering back and arguing back, he, he gets fired. You know, it's just, there's no room for it in a professional kitchen. But for the sake of the restaurant, they've agreed to bury the hatchet. Let's hope it won't be in Andy's head by the end of service. Today, I feel good. We have, and I have a chat with Andy, and we sorted things out, and uh, we had a good conversation. I think we understand each other better now. At least that means Sarah can concentrate on the main dish of the day. Roast chicken breast stuffed with lime butter on a lemon risotto. First, Sarah's mixed a paste of thyme, butter and garlic and smeared it under the skin of the chicken. It then cooks for 15 minutes. She then makes the risotto. Onion, oil, rice, butter, chicken stock, lemon and white wine. Cheers. Chicken is done. Let's prep in the risotto. Um, get my, you know, I'll get everything together on a tray, the wine and my lemons and my zesto. That's it, really. But what, what, John, what is your dish? Trout. 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 Trout, mate. Trout. No, trout. No, that's, that's Del Boy. Trappy. <laughs> trout. Sorry. Ah, uh, have the joker. Cabbie John's fish course tonight is an unusual dish. Avocado stuffed trout. For the stuffing, he mixes coriander avocado, pistachio nuts, rice, honey, soy sauce and lime juice. Yes, he really is putting that in a fish. Meat Rover. Hello. He then stuffs uh, Rover. I feel stuffed. <laughs> brushes him with oil and cooks for 20 minutes. Core. You know, just core. Core indeed. Just hoping I'll get it right and I don't let people down again, you know? But I'm just, just hoping I sort of 
to help the kitchen in winter night. Have you whipped your cream? Uh, yes, and that's oh, down here. That's here. Grace, yeah, fabulous. Have we got a little quicker? Yeah. We've got our... Here, we've got a little sieve to tap on. I'll do it if you like. Lovely. Food taster Johnny is kicking off the night with his spicy starter. Spicy squash soup with pimenton and chorizo. First he chops a variety of squash, then adds garlic, thyme, oil and roasts. After cooking for 30 minutes, he blitzes with celery, onion, chilli and chicken stock until smooth. He heats the soup, then fries off the chorizo until crispy. Oh, that really smells good. It smells like love. Wild Spanish nights of passion. Latino chorizo. It's just a sausage, Johnny. I would like to see food uh, triumph, just because, you know, we've had Maitre d's win for two nights in a row, which is, which is great. I think it's time for the food. Time for the food to triumph. Finally, aromatherapist Juliet is in charge of pudding, and she's not giving herself an easy task. Aztec chocolate sponge pudding with tequila and orange sauce. First, she makes a chocolate filling with cardamom and chilli, and freezes it. Then she knocks up a standard sponge, adding extra chocolate. Puts the sponge mixture and frozen chilli chocolate into ramekins and bakes. Finally, she prepares a caramelised tequila and orange sauce. And now it is the moment of truth. Let's hope the puds rise to the occasion tonight. I'm not at all stressed, actually. I like doing this pudding. I've cooked lots of chocolate puddings in the last two weeks. Um, so actually, I've just got an aching arm. One person escaping the aches and pains of the kitchen tonight is divorcee Salma. Mental Zach is teaching his new maitre d' the ropes. Uh, basically, what you're doing, really, the, the, the whole object of tonight is you're controlling the dining room, you're looking after the clientele, you're informing the chef on what's going on, and you're, you're basically running the show. In other words, what you're saying, the most important thing is that um, give them the service, but not, don't be on top of them. That's it. Okay. Ab absolutely. Uh, no, Salma, no. not on top of them. It's going to be a lot of stress because in a row, two days in a row, the Metro D has won the competition. And it, it is, for me, it's going to be like, if somebody else is going to win, then I'm, I, I will feel that I somehow haven't done best up there. I think everybody's going to be uh, gunning for, for, for the win tonight. The chef's very, very, very keen to win. Uh, and obviously, you know, the emphasis is on Salma, you know, doing exactly the same within the restaurant itself. So, you know, it could be exactly what we need. Salma needs to hit the restaurant all guns blazing. That's if she can first get past the tea lights. I'll be all night here. I should have smoked. The chefs can rest easy if this is the competition. Downstairs, the rookies are determined to have a successful service, so Johnny calls a team meeting. So all the plates out, as many as we can, all the bowls on top, I'll pour the soup in with the jug, then you follow with um, cream, cream, and then I guess a third person to do the chorizo. But you know we have time, actually, because you're first out. You could put the chorizo on if you'd like to, John. Would you like to put a little sprinkle of chorizo on? What's that mean? <laughs> it's a spicy sausage. It's a spicy Spanish sausage. All right. Seems John's not up for Johnny's sausage. For the first time this week, the diners have arrived early, so Salma throws a spanner in the works. Chef, the restaurant is very full, and I need the starters in 15 minutes' time. Okay, everyone okay? Hear everybody's yes, everything chef. is full, yes? Okay, the restaurant's full, everyone's hungry, they're waiting for the food. We have got 15 minutes to get the starters into the lift. On the way, Chef. Yes. That'll be fine, thank Great. you. Well... Could have done without the pressure at the end, but um, I think that uh, we should be able to manage that request. The heat is on, but can Johnny help bag the kitchen a victory? Coming up, Juliet's pudding goes into meltdown. You're just taking them out too early. I've just messed it. One course gets rave reviews. Nine out of ten. Uh, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. But can the kitchen win? Time for the food to triumph. Pressure cooker.